Hello everybody, Andrew here from the Hero Game Channel. Welcome back to the Thousand Week Reg and to a new playthrough because the French Authority one only took me two episodes. But now we're here playing as the French State, who should hopefully be a little bit more interesting to play. They do have a decent tree with some several different routes to go. Uh, we do have probably the majority of this to get through before um, we have the death of H. Then we'll have the death of Wayguard, and then we'll do Doriot declares a new France, which then opens up this lovely route in here, because the Tricolor Empire and the Time for Great Works both appear to be fantastic little little things. A great empire is a disarray, and we must return order to it. We will kick out the left overs of resistance from the Black Continent, which I'm hoping means we can take back some more take back some land. Tears up the second armistice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But anyways, yeah, let's start with the state of affairs. Three republics, two empires, three monarchy, and who knows how many revolts and revolutions. To say France's history has been tumultuous would be an understatement. But never in its history has France been in as bad a state as now. The former heart of European culture is bankrupt, disarmed, and dismembered. It has become too much of chief of state of uh, Wayguard. Change must be made. France is on the uh, precipice. It shall not fall. Reforming the government. Okay, so we do actually have three research slots this time around, rather than two. And hopefully, we can actually do a lot more stuff. And uh, we do start off with a nice 23 civvies. Let's build seven civvies then now. Six military factories, that is sufficient for the time being. Wait, early artillery, toad artillery please. Don't want to flip an early artillery, get that in the bin. Go down to air. Right, 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 right. Artillery, support equipment, that's what we're missing. Anti tank, and then I'll need some motorized. There we go, that'll do. Some convoys, and we don't have any ships right now. Okay, that's cool. I'll just go ahead and start building convoys. Start off with 15 divisions, not bad. Uh, I guess we'll just get okay, just. I'm gonna start with some tank divisions. There we go. That'll do. Let's get going. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm ready to play. I'm all good. Let's go, go, go. Oh, we don't have any decisions right now. That's fine. Oh, wrong color. There we go. Right, reform the government. A product of the Second Armistice, the French state under Pratan, was marked by extensive German cooperation, which was a policy hated by the limited faction. Under new le leadership, uh, Weygaard has expressed his willingness to scale down the level of reliance on Germany, with the ultimate goal being industrial independence and diplomatic neutrality between the Accord and the Reich. Independence is non-negotiable. Stability and political power. Thank you. So we can meet with the Reichsverreter. Rumours of resistance. Oh, ho, ho. That seems pretty interesting. Minus 15 stability for two factories. Okay. A general strike. I'm quite tempted by the rumors. Oh! Temporary tax hike. Minus 12 consumer goods. I will take that. Thank you very much. To facilitate our coming reforms to get France back on its feet, we need additional funds. Some members of government have suggested a temporary tax hike to accept these. Our population will be happy at this, but when does our population not have something to complain about these days? Yeah, that weekly stability is not nice. 0 0.2 loss every week. Uh, construction being minus 5. It's for 125 days, so it's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. So hopefully we can have our economy kind of booming uh, by the time we get to um, H, you know, drop indeed. Um... Alright, maybe, I don't know if we're going to be able to invade everybody. I don't know what's going to happen, to be fair. Ewan, Alphonse Ewan, if I've pronounced that correctly. Joseph Darnand. Henry Marie Charles Adeline. What a name that is. Uh, we have Marcel Allard, Henry Joseph Fennett, Eugene Vallotte, and René Busquets. 
There are all of our generals. Well, let's get those guys into play. Let's grab a computer machine. This is only going to take 36 days. So, obviously, the second armistice is crippling us. It is not great at all. Incompetent government not helping either. War reparations. Um, undivided military. Hopefully, we can solve that. Germany said to the atomic bomb. Cool. Agricultural reforms. Let's go ahead and do rumors of resistance. Since the early stages of the occupation, the resistance started cropping up left, right, and center. Over the years, in cooperation with our German allies, we have extinguished these terrorists. But rumors persist to midnight meetings, scuffling in the sewers, and the odd shot in the night. Best keep these quiet, or the Germans will never leave. So, I don't know quite what happens um, when we start going down this route. Um, we can even have a revolution. Spanish Moroccan crisis. Carvico wins the Finnish presidency. Okay. Irma. Okay. Not seen her pop up before. That will be helping. Independence protests in Algiers. Oh no, only a few days after the start of the Moroccan War, protests have started to appear in Algiers. Hundreds of locals have began gathering in the capital, demanding independence and sovereign Algeria. Tensions keep rising with the un just, uh, understaffed and under-equipped garrison being pushed to its limits. We'll have to wait and see how things turn out. Well, we already know how things are going to turn out. There's going to be a war. And we're going to lose control of this. British control in West Africa. Okay, you must have chosen to shut down the elections then. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. The Algerian War of Independence. With the start of the Moroccan, Moroccan War of Independence, the people of Algeria began to show signs of unrest. With French colonial rule having faltered deeply since the state of France was turned into a Nazi puppet state, Algeria and many other French colonies were barely held in their control through the usage of violence and oppression. With the rise of the Moroccans, the domino effect of anti-colonialism started. A few days after the Moroccans took up arms, mass protests broke out in Algiers. When it is under the guidance of the, the Front de Liberation Nationale, Radin for Algerian independence and for the exit of French forces from Algeria. In Algiers, the protests were met with gunfire from the French Algiers garrison, igniting the flame of a uh, violent uprising, with protesters rushing and fighting head on any French collaborative force they found arming themselves. Many cities and towns militia have formed, waving the flag of Algeria, ready to fight against their colonial overlords. But the French colonists responded to this by arming themselves with stockpiles of garrisons and Oran, siding with the Oran and the Algiers garrisons. The French Delta Force militia have declared that Algeria will remain French. In the south, the Saharan tribes, left with little to no supervision by the French, united into the Saharan Council. Declared neutrality from the conflict, lacking military forces, resources, or motive to get into a war that might cost them the glimpse of independence they have gained. We must fight against the French colonists to gain our freedom. Algiers are French, and we must make sure it remains like that. Yep, yeah, sorry. We've done that. The Iran Free State. Hi there. I didn't mean to change to them. I didn't realize that's what was going on there. Uh, okay, let me just tag back over the France. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that's what's going on. But cool, 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 cool. Uh, French they have no other access to Iran. That's fine. A lot of war with Algeria. And let's hope that they win, though. I was going to say, I was like, I don't know what those choices were. I guess we could have been Algeria or um, or Iran and then obviously stay out of it and stay France, which, of course, I wanted to do. Uh, recruitment drive. So the majority of this is going to be done before, uh, you know, H is deed. So I guess we need to prioritize what we really want to do. Three military factories, sounds amazing. So probably stop there, then we'll probably try and jump down here and get all these factories, because there's four civvies and two military there. And we need all the following, though. From the Officer Corps. If anyone can be blamed for the defeat of 1940, our Officer Corps is top of the list. Gamelin, the old fool, didn't even have a radio in his headquarters. Men like him still remain in our high command. These men must be sidelined. Of course, the chief did his best in 1940 to save our nation. He is blameless in the defeat. 
The Rumours of Resistance. A group that has haunted France for decades, the Resistance is reported to be large in its structure and numbers. Secret reports indicate the French government have been infested by resistance elements and they have formed a sort of underground state, where they strike an instigative revolt at France's weakest moments. To combat this situation, we have started a new wave of operations in an attempt to break down the resistance, including the purge of military staff. Oh, those thugs will be exterminated, and Britain has tested the atomic bomb. <coughs> ah, and excuse me. Giesling wins the struggle. The Union State of Norway. We'll see what happens. There goes Biera. After losing his dick. Who will be? Who will be put into power? So it looks like you're going to be sticking around, eh? I'm going to see what happens when they do join the Commonwealth. Get some units. Don't be exiled with the British colonial government. Bulganin. I don't think I've actually seen your tree. Oh, yes, I have, because you come. The Second Russian Republic. An interesting tree. Oh, <laughs> that little squeak there. Gosh. Wow, the, the Belgians dealt with that much quicker. One nation, two systems. Open up to China. I feel like that's a lot of like improving relations. Hydrists. Okay. And Oran Free State has lost. Well, well done. Well done to you. Alright, let's go to, to military construction one. Yeah, I won't be touching any flipping land doctrine, that's for sure. Right. Um, reform the officer corps. After heavy restrictions imposed by the Germans on our military, the officer corps has been long neglected. Now with France's newfound independence, the military has been considering the possibility of staffing the officer corps with new, talented officers from the populace. However, due to the fact that the RFL elements have been slipping into many factors of the state, new officers might indicate increased RFL influence on our nation's military. Loyalty first. Let's go ahead and hire new, talented officers, because it gets... Slightly deals of the divided military, and that is not a great national spirit. So yes, let's do the recruitment drive. As restrictions on our nation are slowly lifted, a new recruitment drive can be enacted. Our army is barely big enough to control our unruly population, let alone fight a war. I expect most wouldn't be surprised if Spain could defeat our army. Yeah, that's the last thing we want to happen. Could you imagine flipping Franco taking us down? He could actually take us down. He has a pretty strong army. Still not strong enough to take down the Moroccans, though. Okay. The Mayday Bloodbath. The Mayday Bloodbath. Iraq and Jordan unite. United Arab Kingdoms. Okay. Both re-elected. <laughs> yeah, they done it. They done it. They united. They united in the Union. Oh, there's the hydrogen bomb. Good old, good old bombs being tested. Germany wins the EFC. Okay, okay. Re-resigns. Cool, 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 cool. Stuff's going on. Stuff's happening. Let's do the long stroke gas piston. Oh, yes. We should probably... Oh. Our templates are going to suck. So I want three on you. I haven't even got fighters in production yet. Oh, the Republic of Algeria won again. Nice, right, so we'll keep them like that. Yeah, I'll just get them sorted first, they're Tory. Right, recruitment drive is done. Let's do limited rearmament. Once again, the French army grows slowly and under the hawkish observers of the right, but growing nonetheless. Just as the Germans did, we shall rise from the ashes like a phoenix, with the army leading the way forward. Good, 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 good. The end of the Algerian War. Labour wins the UK elections. Okay. Clement Attlee is here. Right, I was going to say, what have they actually done? 
the dissolution of Sahara. Oh, okay. French authority got some more land. British colonial government. Ugh. Shocking. Shocking. Hopefully we'll get a chance to take over. Left win in Korea. So the Marxist Leninists are here. Doubt that guarantee you'll stick around for much longer. Oh, they could join the proletarian front. That'd make things interesting against China. Right, let's meet with the Reichswert Retter. It's time again, time for the Le Chief to meet with the Reichswert Retter. In recent years, he had been successful in getting certain concessions through the Reich lifted, and the German occupation of the North was particularly difficult for his to finalize. Even now, German garrisons remain. Perhaps we can agree to more lenient terms while the Reich is willing to listen. Are they willing to listen, though? That is the question. Will they be willing? Probably not. That's my feeling. I've just realised. Bloody March of Eagles. Korean military... Bloody March of Eagles. Can they just get that? Oh. So you're now a paternal autocrat again. Okay. Cool. Right, what's going to happen here? The Reich's veterator, I've definitely said that wrong every time, has been growing wary due to Weigard's push for French independence. Well, this assumption is absolutely correct. The French government must maintain its facade of friendliness with the Reich to prevent intervention. During the meeting, our ministers have managed to soup talk their way into gaining the Reich's veterator's trust, buying his precious time at the need for any significant reforms. Independent diplomatic ties. It does improve relations with some guys. France's foreign office has had very little to do in recent years, with almost all decisions being made by the Reich. <coughs> foreign relations are limited to those within or associated with the pact, and some within the Toronto Accord do not even recognise our government as legitimate. Perhaps we should make some approaches to the Toronto Accord to see if an arrangement can be reached. Yes, let's let's make some arrangements with the... Uh, renounces the right to war. Okay. Your tickles are fancy. Um, right, we'll get that up and you up next. And yep, we've got some fighters in production now. Just one factory, but I'll do the job. Nice, right, so we've got the artillery pieces upgraded. We do have a lot of work ahead of us, so. At least I managed to sort that out slightly. And see if I recognize any of the names here. Francois Darlin. Old Air Marshal. I thought he was an ar admiral. Right, negotiate the terms. Negotiations with the Reichs of Verreter are always tense. Trying to strike the correct balance between continued collaboration with Germany and certain independence from them is not an easy task. But it must be done, one way or another. The Reich must free us from our chains eventually, right? Yeah, we need some more stability. We have zero war support right now. Not good. Not good at all. We are just an authoritarian system as well. And there is the war in Asia. And the US criticizing the Chinese as always. Wait, what's this? Ah, the Reichsferritor. Wilhelm Schiepmann. And that's the UN. Okay. No voting. Am I involved in this? Can we see my flag? Nope. Ethiopian Uprising. So this is the man we're winning over right now. Spanish victory in North Africa. Great. So what happens to him? I guess we're going to kick him out at some point. Einstein has been killed. And with that, just try and upgrade some tech now. 19th... Jet engines. There we go. Give us the jet engines. Shows Social Democrats victory in Sweden and the UN Vietnam resolution fails. Coup in a Baghdad. I feel like that's happened several times now. Oh, you are not looking so great. Not looking so great at all. 
any of agricultural reforms. The only wealth you possess is your labour. France will come again, which you should never have ceased to be, an essentially agricultural nation, the late Philippe Pétain said to our sovereign state. Since the earliest days of the Vichy government, Germany has demanded an extortion amount of agricultural goods from us. Food shortages have become an average part of life for most now. The system needs immediate reform. We don't know how much more our population can take. Our propulsion, maybe? Maybe that is right. I thought it was population. They just got it majorly wrong. But, um... Yeah, it's a nice wee national spread for 100 days. Oh, the Kingdom of Albania is here. Are you always here? You actually have a tiny little tree. Oh, that's cute. When old Congo joins the Commonwealth. Aren't you already a part of the Commonwealth, though? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's ahead of time. We'll get, grab that, then that's that sorted. Let's get a bit of artillery in production. Why is it insistent on playing March of Eels? We don't want it. It doesn't work, it breaks it. The carrot and the stick. No, who's in charge of France? Yeah, we're not getting you in charge. I guess really incompetent government there. Um, definitely we look to see where the rest gets dealt with. Communist rebels are still causing chaos in our state. Oh gosh. They have a wise man. Right, restart the factories. Let's get those civvies. Due to our economic spiral down to collapse again and again, many factories have been put out of business. Mass unemployment followed and crime skyrocketed. With the economy is slowly stabilizing, mostly, it is time to get these workers back doing just that, working. Yes, come on, we need you back in the factories. So that's force of his two military. Truman has been elected as president, so he is he's sticking around. He's, he's sticking around. Cool. Can't really tell how close Eastern Market Trade. Yeah, don't know how close you are to, to finishing this. Eastern Market Trade, where is that? I feel like it's down here somewhere. General strike, oh no. Reacting to the government's recent industrial policies, the workers have showed their dissatisfaction in the form of a general strike. These workers are now refusing to work in the factories and our police forces have responded to the situations. Thankfully these strikes have yet to turn violent, but this has greatly damaged our production output. Ah, Nice, that exactly what we needed. Handling the laborers. Why is it our population loves a strike? Since the days of industrial revolution, worker unions have enacted strike after strike after strike. If the factories are to start up again, we must bring the unions to the table. A compromise with the right allowed our survival. A compromise with the unions may allow us to grow again. Yes. Wyszczewski is gone. French nationalism, we definitely want to revive that. Southern development and northern development would be nice. The land force as well. Reduce German influence. The loss of stability for the tiny amount, like the two factories. Really not worth it. I'd rather just get these civvies. Definitely get the national pride because that gives us division attack on core territory and defense. So plus 20 on each there. That is pretty, pretty good. Right, we've got improved shells. So we don't need to worry about doing any artillery stuff. Main battle tank, let's upgrade you. Support companies, got what I want, could do upgrading them. So let's start with the engineer company. What I also need to do is start actually sorting all the templates. Uh, cannot remove special templates. Oh, these divisions are classed as special ones. Oh, get them in the bin. So how, how old is Maxime then? Oh. There's some, the Turkestani Civil Wars kicking off. And uh, let's see how we're going to handle the laborers. We'll do the economic reforms first. Stagnation, inflation, and recession. In the last years, they have been all you would see when analyzing our broken economy. At the turn of the decade, the first signs of economic recovery appeared. The last genuine reform can take place. Good. Coup d'etat in Cuba. Rise of colonial maintenance costs. That's not great. 
Right, currently these strikers have refused the work for a number of days. In these several days, France has halted completely. The Reichsführer has summoned members of the government, declaring that the strike must be put down as soon as possible to prevent for prolonged unrest. However, moderate numbers of our cabinet are advocating for opening a dialogue with workers to end this incident in a peaceful manner. Yes, let's negotiate with them. I feel like this is a much better approach than just completely, you know, making it violent. There's no point in doing that. So, I guess we've got our garrison units when that time comes. Oh, did the state of Ethiopia lose again? Yes, they did. Oh, no, they didn't. They won. They won! Hey, nicely done. Italians have been embarrassed there. Harry Truman inaugurated. He's back. It's a very nice colour scheme you got going on there. Get the upgraded fighter. So he is still here. I don't know what route that is. It must be the establishment Republicans. We got Taft, MacArthur, and Thurmond's. Then that's um I can't remember, Stevenson. So it must be this one. Exile of the Dutch government. <laughs> Again. Ah, oh, they always lose in Indonesia. It's funny. The Italian thaw. Oh my days. Yep, Mussolini's gone. We now have Giovanni Messi. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You must be getting close to going bye bye, Mr. H. Right, so development. Actually, no, let's do re uh, reviving national pride just in case he does actually kick the bucket before I've. I've done it. Our defeat in 1940 was nothing short of catastrophic. Our once grand empire is a shadow of its former self, carved up both by both the Reich and the ancient enemy Britain. Criminals roam the streets near freely, and corruption is rife. We were a proud people once, we must be again. The chief and his words must be plastered on every wall, and all should adhere to travail, family, patri. And the agricultural reforms have finished. That is cool. Ah, we're losing that in July. Good, okay. We did get some stability from that, so I might actually do the other. Gate scale. It's not there just yet. What's this? Party divisions. Not great for them. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. And I didn't get to do that flipping focus, did I? Damn it. That's... Didn't realise we're that close. But anyways, the unrelated celebration. Our police and security services... I'm actually really gutted by that because that's such a good national spirit. Um, would actually finally given us war support as well. Oh, I should have done it. Instead, we just done the construction. So we didn't even get the civvies. Um, our police and security services have reported some rather odd reports. Barely an hour following the news of Hitler's death, the streets were flooded with crowds. Many are drinking wine by the gallon, while others embrace with tears in their eyes. We have best make sure Pierre Boni and his Carling Gu, as well as our German handlers, are aware that this is completely separate to the news of the Fuhrer's death. Tell the papers to print something, anything. Worthy of celebration. Now! Oh no! Oopsie! Don't mind us, we're just having a casual celebration for these fantastic croissants that have just been baked in this bakery the unrelated celebration now we wait ha 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 he's going to die a cocktail party held in the chief residency the elites of France gathered in the chamber officially celebrating the longevity of the French state but in their hearts they knew they were rejoicing due to the death of age amongst the guests chief Vegard is one of them near the end of his social event Vegard made his closing speech Speaking hopeful words for the future of France, but at the end, just when everyone in the chamber was cheering for the chief, a lone gunman rushed up the crowd with his luger and fired at the chief. The chief is dead. Oh no. He has been assassinated. Shortly after Wagar's death, the capital is now engulfed by turmoil. Thousands of rioters now destroying stores and burning barricades with the police's resources stretching thinner and thinner. The law and order when Paris has been greatly reduced in the emergency services are now paralyzed. Chaos in the capital. And Doric declares a new France. Give us it. Oh ho ho. It's getting out of control. So order's not going to be restored. 
After after days of anarchy within the nation's capital, the disorder spread across France. Major population centers now packed with rioters going against the French state. The military has been ordered to suppress these riots and restore order in the urban areas of France. But the fear of riot turned revolt means remains strong. This is out of control. It's an absolute disaster. And there's the grand funeral. The French Revolution. The revolutionaries of France have seized the initiative by rallying the force in open revolt against French government. Across the countryside, groups of resistant fighters with different ideologies have banded together and declared a Republican government, even to overthrow the French state in order to reinstate the French Republic. That's not what I wanted. Ah, here we go, here we go. We got the right one now. The March on Paris. Jacques Doret, a prominent fascist politician of the French state, guarded his supporters in front of a hotel. And then Chief Wigand was assassinated by communist rebels of the RFL before marching towards the government quarters in Paris. Doret and his group marched until they, they were stopped by a line of police officers, starting an intense standoff between the two sides. Ha ha ha! Talk them down? Pfft, no! France, march! Let's do it! Libere toi France? I don't know what that word is. Today is a historic day for France. The leader of the French Popular Party, Jacques Doriot, has been called by the new president, Admiral Francois Darlin, to form a new government the first time since the end of the Third Republic. It is a reversal of fortune for the former Communist Youth Secretary, whom foreign press dubbed the French Fuhrer for his switch to ardent fascist collaborationism. Waiting for such an opportunity since 1940, Doris' plan to save a fracture in France is a decade in the making. In tandem with Darlin, who will take the place of Head of State, Dorit intends to dramatically reform France in order to restore it to its rightful glory and finally exercise demons from within. The former Marshal's right hand, now serving the Admiral, is seen by all good Frenchmen as the man for the job. Ah, oh, and here we are. We are ready to get this underway, but not until next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we will be back for some more very, very soon. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. Then now.